morning. It is Thursday the 13th. Um, yay. Ew. Sorry, my computer just told me that it's trying to give me Windows 11 and I would rather die. Ew. Windows 11 looks like a MacBook and that stresses me out. I don't know how to use Macs and I don't want my Windows to look like that. I would be very stressed out. Um, anyway, moving on. Sorry. It's the 13th. It's Thursday. Hi, hello. Welcome to this week's vlog. Um, this week is going to be very chill, I think. I have a few books on hold that I'm going to wait, that I'm waiting on. I'm currently reading The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons. It's very good. I am having a good time. I'm almost 50% into it. Um, I am currently waiting on The Sundown Motel. Uh, I have it on hold at the library. So that's going to take a little bit of time to get to me. It says it's available soon, so I expect it the next couple of days, so I should probably be able to start it next week, hopefully. Um, I wasn't supposed to be this far into the name of all things yet. I wasn't even supposed to start it until the weekend, um, but here we are. It's because I like was having such a good time reading the October Day book. It's actually a five. The, the tenth book is a five-star read for me. I enjoyed it a lot. Very stressful, but they all kind of are stressful. <laughs> I really, 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 really need to film today or tomorrow. Uh, like, I really need to film, um, like, a couple of videos if I can manage it, because then I will at least have two weeks of videos done and ready um, to go. But next Tuesday's video is not ready, <laughs> and I really need to film it. I, at the bare minimum, need to film the... Um, role for it because it's the crochet video and I I at minimum need to film that <laughs> part of it um but yeah I did go run errands last night and it was a terrible time did not enjoy myself um I was supposed to go to the library but it was such a difficult trip that I was like mm, no no thank you I might go to Hobby Lobby and the library today. I need to look at all of the schemes that I have available for the book blanket currently. Um, I think I'm missing thrillers and maybe sci-fi's colors, I think are the two that I need specifically. Um, but I need to kind of get all of my schemes in order. They're kind of all over the place at the moment and I just need to kind of organize them. Um, am I gonna manage to get all of this done today? Probably not. There's probably gonna be some things that I definitely don't get done, but that's what I currently need to do. Um, I do want to get 50% into the name of all things today. I just, I think another hour of listening will get me about there because it's, um, like a 24 hour long book, 24, 26. I also got a book that Caitlin Starling recommended to me called The Helmet Midnight. Um, so I'm hoping to read it and enjoy it. It was compared to like Hannibal meets something else and I was like done sold that's all I need that's all I need to read this um so yeah here we are <laughs> uh I think that's it though I just thought I would give a quick update I don't know why I always say that like I'm not gonna update every day also I don't know if I talked about the self tanner but it actually I think came out pretty good um but I think that it's a little bit too like I should have blended it a little bit more and for the fake freckles that I did, I think, and I talked about this last week, I think about the fake tan, obviously not this week because I just opened this book up. Um, I think I need to go back in um, to like the instructions, say if you want a darker tan, do reapply in 30 minutes. I think that I'll need to go back in with the fake freckles after 30 minutes so that those really like develop. Because I have freckles and so for the most part I'm just following what I already have, but I like... I like that look and I can use it to essentially contour my face without contouring my face. Anyway, yeah, that's it. My hair is also, last week I complained about my hair. My hair is much more manageable today. Um, so yeah, I need to start saving some money so that I can get my roots done and cut my hair. I think I want layers. Like I think I want lots of layers because I want to, I want I want more movement to my hair, especially when it's in when it's curly, because at the moment it's just kind of frizzy and messy, and because it's all one length, I don't have layers really. I mean, I do, not really. I don't really have layers. Um, so yeah, and I've never asked for like shaggy layers, so I don't know what James is gonna say. Um, 
but James has been doing my hair since I was like 19, so they're gonna encourage whatever I want <laughs> within reason. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I gotta get ready for work and journaling and that kind of thing, so. and salad. You can put chicken nuggets in anything. It's just like putting crispy chicken uh, in stuff. People make crispy chicken salads. They're just usually like not chicken nuggets. Also, I have more chicken nuggets here because I'm, I'm going to need the protein. I just belly, but delicious. Maybe. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. Just finished The Name of All Things, uh, again, much earlier than I was supposed to have finished it, but that's okay. I think I'm going to read um, all of the short stories between the two October Day books. I've got um, The Voice of Lions, let's see others, The Voice of Lions, The Act of Hairs, Shore to Shore, Instrument of Darkness, and With Honest Trifles. I don't know if I'm going to have to read all of them, but I'm going to try and read at least three of them. Um, they're all under 100 pages long, so they're like under 80 pages even. I'm looking at them. I have them like downloaded in my Calibre and like have a thing that estimates the page lengths, which is great. So yeah, I did not film the crochet video like I need to, but I did my makeup today. So the intention is to do it today. I am hoping that I'm not too, too slammed. I do have like back to backs kind of all day, but it's fine. It's fine. I love when we schedule constant meetings on a Friday, the day that's supposed to be chill. I am supposed to be logging off early today also. So if I do manage that, then I should be, if I get off early, then I'm probably going to go to Hobby Lobby because I am out of the yarn for fantasy. Um, I checked. All I have yarn wise is horror, right? Yeah, horror and um, thriller. And I have two of the thriller ones. So I'm going to need to get, I only have one horror too. So I'm probably going to get one more horror. So I have two skeins of it. And then two or three fantasy and two or three, meh, maybe just two sci fi, because I don't really read a lot of sci-fi so I don't expect it to be like unless I pick up a massive series of sci-fi books which I just don't ex I don't expect so I may almost I may only pick up one I may just keep using whatever grays I happen to have around the house because I do have a lot of gray I actually think I'm probably just gonna do that um but I'm glad I'm not out of thriller I thought I was gonna be completely out of thriller and I'm not I also have done a little bit of tidying around the office and rearranging it has been on my to-do list for like days to clean up my office because when I cleaned out my closet I never put stuff away. I just like took the stuff that doesn't go in the closet out and then promptly did nothing else so that's great. That's great great great. Uh, today's today's definitely gonna be a day for sure. I'm very busy today but I will I will figure it out. Um, I will figure it out. I did get a few books in from the Prime Day sale, so I got one last stop. 
uh, Legends and Lattes, and I feel like there was a, oh, A Local Habitation, which is the second book in the Sean and McGuire series, because I think, like I said last time, I don't know if I talked about this or not, I'm, I'm not getting them all in one go. I do want to eventually own all of them, but I'm not getting them all in one go. I own a bunch of the audiobooks already, so I don't really need to, like, own all of the physical books, but I do want them, also because I think I'll probably end up rereading this series. I have a feeling that this is going to be my, like, comfort series for a while, and there's a lot of content. Um, so... I also have my TBR scripted, which is great. That means it'll be easier to film it. My crochet video is like kind of loosely scripted, but it's such a hard video to like script because I don't track anything. I just fucking crochet. So I need to measure this whole thing because I do not know the width and I don't know the length and so I need to do that and then once I've done that I think I'll be ready to film it and then I also need to film the filler footage um which I will be doing soon I Ozzy just texted me um when my cousin and I share a library card hi Ozzy um we share a library card and so sometimes she'll text me like if this is good will you let me know and can I re listen to it after you and I'm like yeah um so Anyway, I need to plan. I need to put all of this, these meetings and shit in my planner um, so that I have a visual representation and like write it down so I can remember what I have going on today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm hopefully gonna finish this one crochet block. I'm like using the leftover of an old crochet block. And I'm hoping that it will work. If not, I might steal from some of the extras that I've made. Um, they're not extras, they're like leftovers from previous months that needed blocks, but I haven't made the blocks. Like, I'm gonna do small blocks across the bottom. So, I'm gonna go so that I can get my shit together, but I will talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks, bye. Monday the 17th. Hi, how you doing? I just filmed my TBR, which is great. I just need to edit a few things and then I can go on my merry way. I really don't want you in my lap, my love. Come on. Anyway, uh, I dropped something and she hates the sound. She's getting groomed next week also because she looks like a homeless animal and she won't let me brush her mats out. I, um, what did I do this weekend? I started the Sundown Motel. It's really good. I have been enjoying it a lot. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect, and I'm still kind of confused if it's a ghost story or not. It feels like a ghost story, but, like, that there's more to it. Uh, the dedication to Murderinos was kind of interesting, because I know that they're, they're kind of canceled. My favorite murder is, like, definitely gotten canceled in the interim. <laughs> um, I know I'm, like, real late to the Sundown Motel, uh, store, like, hype so which I was kind of on purpose I don't really like to read books during their prime hype because I'd like to wait for everything to come out about the book and author before I like get real into it anyway I am um what else I I have lost my train of thought I finished the um books of fairy comic over the weekend it was pretty solid uh, a pretty solid book I also I'm hoping to get started on The Brightest Fell. I want to maybe finish The Sundown Motel today. I have about two hours left on the audiobook if I was going to listen to it, um, like going to keep listening to it. I might just get 75% into it though, like give myself an hour left to listen to it tomorrow and then start The Brightest Fell. Uh, and then I have a horror book that Caitlin Starling recommended to me that I'm going to probably be picking up sometime this week. I did pick up yarn at Hobby Lobby so I can find get to working on a few of the crochet blocks that I wasn't able to get to work on so like fantasy I rank it completely ran out of yarn for that so luckily I will be able to pick that back up uh this week and I am hopefully gonna go to the library today I really really need to go to the library either today or tomorrow I have said that a billion times but like I really need to go there are books I need to get for this month and next month 
Um, so I really just need to go. Uh, there's some books that uh, my friend Lexi has kind of not recommended, but like asked if I've read because I'm a pretty I, like, I read horror and thrillers uh, and I've said no and so if I have time this month I'll probably look at those as well as looking at some of the Rainbow Crate books and picking those up just because I'm gonna run out of books to read so I may as well. Um, so yeah that's it. I think I'm gonna edit today also if I get the time I really need to do some editing for myself and then also for um, some website work that I'm doing for my dad so I need to do some updates there. I yeah that's it. That's all I got. Um, I started making another blanket, <laughs> like not a book blanket, but like another afghan. Um, and I'm really excited about it, but I'm not going to post about it or anything because I kind of just want to like see how much I can get done just just working on it, you know? Um, and then I've been working on like a dress in the background forever. Um, but it's like tiny, tiny yarn. It's going to take a bajillion years to finish, but I'm going to try, you know? Um, it's with yarn that I've had, tiny yarn that I've had for a dress pattern that I'm never going to finish. So I just like, when I was like, whatever, I'll just start a different dress. Um, because the other dress pattern is a gingham pattern and the alternating yarn for that is like a nightmare. And I just decided that I like don't have the patience for that. Um, so yeah, I'm doing something else. I think that's it though. I got to get finish getting ready for work and like finish editing or start editing and then finish editing and doing stuff. I've got... A bunch of different videos that I want to like put together. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Um, that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hello and good morning. It is Tuesday the 18th. I have my doctor's appointment today, so we are up early. I did end up going to the library. Definitely got way too many books, like eight of them. Many of these are for my TBR next month, um, or right now. Uh, a couple of them are not, so if you, technically these are all the ones for next month. So we're just going to put them over here. I may or may not read this next month. Um, I haven't decided yet. This is the next uh, Every Heart is a Doorway, that series, uh, the Wayward Children series. There we go. Um, it's the next one in there. I haven't read it yet, so I'm kind of excited about reading it. And it's like short, so I feel like if I just like have some downtime and I just want to read, then I'll read. This one, The Cherished, I've seen, and I think I've always thought about reading it and then just not picked it up, I think. Uh, so, you know, she's very pretty on the inside. So, you know, uh, I don't know when I'll read this, either this month or next month. These are due back on the 7th of next month, so I can kind of like do whatever I want because of that. This one I started last night and it's How to Be Eaten by Maria Ad Adelman. And it's like fairy tale survivors are in a support group, but like it's definitely not a fairy tale, right? Uh, and so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm like 60 something pages in it. I'm gonna take it with me to the doctor's office to read it while I'm waiting because inevitably I will be waiting. So far it's good. I just finished uh, Blackbeard's ex-girlfriend's story and I'll be reading uh, Ruby, who's Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood. I'll be reading her story next. Uh, Fair Play, which I do want the cards and I think I've had the cards on like a wish list forever and ever and ever. I want them for my husband and I. Um, it's essentially like finding the balance between tasks and roles in marriage. Uh, what's funny is my mom, when it, um, Aiden and I got married my mom wrote on the like congratulations card she was like the one piece of advice I give you that any is that anything that you do within the first month of marriage is going to be expected of you for the rest of your marriage uh Aiden and I didn't live together at that time we didn't move in together until almost a year of being married uh which I know wild but such is my life and so that didn't really apply, but we joked about like, okay, well then you cooked and you do the dishes because I don't want to do any of those things. I don't want to do those for the rest of my life. And I think that that's a good way of describing this book is that it's that mentality um, because you end up like signing up for these tasks that you never actually had like a formal conversation about. <laughs> and then I got The Brightest Fell, which is um, the book I'm currently reading from Sean and uh, it's the book 11 in the... October Day series and when I finish it I will be reading the short stories in between. So what I have planned for reading for the next week is 
definitely this and then the book that Caitlin recommended. What is that? Because I did finish Sundown Motel last night or yesterday during work. The Helm of Midnight, which is like a horror fantasy and they like eat emotions or something. I don't know. I just, I'm like 2% into it. So I don't have a whole lot of backstory for you, but that's where I'm at at that. But my plan this week is to read those two books. Um, the Helm at Midnight is a 22 hour audiobook. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'll be, like if I'll be switching between ebook and listening. I have both the ebook and the audiobook from the library. So I'll probably just alternate, but I'm for sure reading these at the moment. This one is short-ish. It's at less than 300 pages, so I think that I'll probably knock it out by the end of the week for sure. And then The Brightest Fell I'll probably also knock out by the end of the week. Helmet Midnight might take me till next week. And we, I still have another week in October, or not October, another week in July before we move on to the next week. So I have time, you know? I do kind of wish, um, how to be eaten. I had the audiobook just because I'm lazy and I'm like moving back into my, not lazy, but I'm like moving back into my audiobook era. So, uh, but I am going to do some of my journaling and stuff before I go and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, Noah Cahon, 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 <laughs> Dial Drunk, his Post Malone version came out, which I love. It's a lot of fun. It's a good song. Um, that's it. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great day. Okay, thanks. Bye. -bye. food is cooling off I figured I would just go ahead and update I finished how to be eaten last night and it was a five-star read for me I looked at the reviews and a lot of people didn't like this book because of the way that it concluded in the end I don't care <laughs> this is like feminine rage slash the aftermath of trauma slash horror horrifying fairy tale retellings and its aftermath in a support group setting which I haven't personally seen done before. The closest thing is the final girls support group. And even then, me, not the same because of the fairy tale aspect of this. The way that this author managed to put fairy tales in the context of the modern world and make it a little realistic was incredible. I'm a little bit unsure who Ashley in this book was supposed to be, Ashley E. I would, I would guess Cinderella maybe, but I'm 
not very sure. The other ones were very clear to me, but she's the only one who's not very clear to me. Um, but yeah, so this was, this was an incredible book. I had a really good time reading it. It was horrifying, but good. And some of the quotes in it were really like, I'm putting them in my field notes today. Um, I had a great time reading it. It's not a very long book. Uh, and it was like a nice, a nice change of pace from some of the things I've been reading. I also finished uh, The Brightest Fell, which I was stressed out the whole time reading that book. Also, sorry about the lighting. I was stressed out the whole time reading that book. Um, thanks, Sean and McGuire. I don't, I don't have a whole lot else to say because it's book 11 in a series, and if anyone's gonna pick up a series, I'm not trying to spoil it, but um, also, I've been reading it for a while, so if you're late, you're late, you know? So I finished that, and then I also finished the short story that's in the very back of it, um, which had an interesting, I'm glad I had that short story because if I started the other books and were like, why are these people alive? I would've been very confused. Um, so that's done. I, today, I need to hang up, one of my curtain rods fell, and I think because I just renewed my lease for another year, I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and drill holes in the wall, because I don't expect us to move out of here for a couple of years, transparently. I think we're gonna be here for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes in the wall. <laughs> um, I had them like command stripped to the wall and they keep falling off and it makes me a little bit of a crazy person. I also think that if I manage to get them moved, uh, like, drilled into the wall, I think it will look good. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's the update for the day. I am going to eat and work on my planners and then I'm going to get started for the work day. I don't know where my phone is. That's a shame. My phone's gone. I should look for that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi. Hi. I didn't close the vlog out, so I'm going to close the vlog out here. Don't ask me what day it is. Don't ask me what's happened. I don't know. I do know. I had a migraine for like three days and died. Um, but I'm back from the dead now, so I'm going to close up the vlog here. Sorry. I don't even know the last time I updated the vlog, so I couldn't tell. It's Sunday, so um, that's all I got. Bye. <laughs>